Okay, I apologize for the format. It's done intentionally so I can protect the person sharing with me. Um, the crane reaction you see, Blake Garland. So this is verifiable. Do not dox people for the fun. Do not put their friggin' address out here or anything else. This is not what this is intended for. Don't out anybody, no matter for what reason. Do not dox them. Put any doxing on my on my page whatsoever. I'm going to report it as doxing, and that's harassment. And I hope they come after you with criminal charges. I don't care how upset you are. Do not dox anybody on the Internet. You hire a lawyer, you do whatever you want to do. But don't, don't use the Internet to, uh, to, to, to threaten somebody. All right, Blake Garland. The crane reaction, uh, you see the dumpster. You can see the layers without skins frame. All right, we all said that, that framing that the guy was moving, I don't see it as the... Uh, the, the crane had a bar, uh, a piece of steel looks like it was going into the fabrication. I don't see it as any 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 spreader bar or anything else. That crane piece, but but we'll, we'll keep it going anyway. Then I read a comment supporting this, supporting this quote. My husband's company was in the building when it collapsed. One of his friends from another company was working across the street and said the building collapsed because the crane was trying to move the dumpster from the roof. And when he swung out a cable of the crane, um, well, I don't get it. Dude, stop spreading this. My dad was, the, this is more, more important part. So the crane, the dumpster, I saw it up there too. There's a trash bin. It's up there by the end. It looks stable, does not, was not moving. So again, you guys, I didn't pre-read this. I'm reading it with you now. It just, you're just inside my head. So if I pause and I start moving this mouse, you engineers, stop trying to think you're so fucking bright. You're, you're not. You don't have any psychology behind you. You just, you're doing post hoc. Just because you see one thing, you relate to the other, and you assume the third. Relax yourselves. Your, your brains aren't intelligent enough. Most of you aren't. The engineers out there. So yeah, take that as an assault. Those are the engineers that are, that are trying to do post hoc with, with my mind and with your comments. You're not, you're not trolling me. I just find you disgusting because you don't really, you know, I'm open to psychological conversation with anybody here. I really enjoy psychology. That's the one thing I want left behind is my amygdala theory. And when I see your comments, I already know your, your intent. If your intent is evil and has an agenda, agenda, I just attack you like scum you are. I don't have to help you. Um, okay, so here's the response. Alex Marino, this is very important. This will be verifiable. Dude, stop spreading this. My dad was the crane operator, and this is the farthest from the truth. Mike Mike Marino. So, um, I, 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 I agree. This, this is junk. And we're moving on. Mike Marino writes, Mike Marino, maybe the crane operator. The crane cable did not break. You, uh, chow heads. Okay, that's fair enough. We were hanging steel. There is a steel beam still on the hook that I, the Franklin crane operator, couldn't lower it. After the building collapsed. So, again, you see me pausing and you guys might be thinking, I don't know what I'm talking about. This is where I get these trolling engineers thinking now they're inside. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what X means. That one really got me. I'm, I'm looking for closed quotes, guys, right now. Stop. But then there's closed quotes, quotes are here because I know a quote picked up. And I'm evaluating capital letters, his commas, his uh, everything. And also looking at the time. 22 minutes, 14 minutes apart, 41 minutes. So they're doing some monitoring. I'm just, you know, tying data up. There's a steel beam still on the hook that I, Franklin Crane operator, couldn't lower after the building collapsed. The crane, had, right, he couldn't lower it. He could lower it, obviously, but he couldn't lower it on what? On the friggin' building? Why would he do that? It's in the crane. It's already transporting. It's already stable. Maybe he would have made his crane just unstable by the time he pulled off. So I, I called. So now I have I stand corrected when I said the crane operator is just a you know I call him a child head too. Then saying come on you know you, you it's like these guys are scared to speak up. Well I don't know what date this is, but you guys might be able to find it on your own. I don't know what date this is, but let's um re, let's dial back my my comment because the crane operator is speaking up, but in this format he's not coming forward anymore, and it will just go on. Couldn't lower after the building collapsed. The crane had nothing to do with this. So, shut the fuck up about shit you know nothing about. And I don't know what this emoji is. I can't see it. I don't know. You know, I'm not up to my emojis. 
that uh, two guys laughing, or is that the one with the medical mask on? I can't tell. All right, so um, thumbs up, and all right, so I'm looking at the rest of the data behind the screen that you guys can't see, trying to uh, think. All right, so, so I'm going to do a video saying uh, the crane operator speaks up, and he states that, you know, he did speak up. And he, he's saying he's not, he was not part of this collapse. He did not say where he saw it start collapsing, though. You know, he might have had tunnel vision on there. I was waiting for him to say that when I said he could see everything there. Some of my comments that I post on here are designed as this person made a comment and drew out this operation of this, too. It drew them out. So some of my comments, guys, I attack the person's amygdala. I attack their conclusive files. When I do that, it draws them out. This is what happened here. This person made this, and this drew this person out. Remember I said we only have the part I want to leave of, the, of psychology in the brain with you guys is that we have no choice. All attacks are an attack. When this came out, this drew this person out by having no choice. Blake Garland, even if it's false information, attacked his dad, Mike Marino. Mike, by extension, Alex, by extension, felt attacked. And so he had no choice but to attack back. Alex did a plain attack that was simple like that, but he highlighted his dad. His dad then must have got notification or somehow got notification, fed in on for this chain, and what, eight minutes apart or less, because it's, you know, minutes rounding up, eight minutes apart or less, chimed in with his statement, also feeling attack. And he was attacked back. So I tell you guys, um, you know, I, I know the uh, my forensic guy on here said, look, you shouldn't say that about yourself. He told me you make yourself vulnerable. Look, we're all vulnerable. We're all vulnerable. We're all going to attack back. I let, I just let myself be known when I'm I'm saying, look, that's my bias. Um, you know, you, you got, I have no, and I have no choice but to attack back. You, you can't punch me in the face and get a freebie. I have no choice. None of you either, none of you either have a choice. Nobody can let me punch him or attack him. And just turn away a blind eye, turn the other cheek, without having some anger in them. That's a form of attacking back. So this is how it worked. This person attacked his dad. They came. So remember, I, I told you this channel has got psychology in it. And go, look, I was going to change it to Construction Detectives. The channel name. Did a little search. Nineteen. I don't know. It looks like eighty. Somebody did something called Construction Detectives. So I won't bother with that. Um, and stupid. The channel was, I mean, it was just, it wasn't stupid. It was 1980 stupid or whatever it might have been, 19, 2000, I don't know. Um, the crane cable did not break, you chow heads, chowder heads. So chowder heads, that would tell, you know, that type of talk, you know, would tell you where the person's from. I don't even know where that's from. Chowder heads? Is that Boston? Crane operator from Boston originally or something? I don't know. That's, uh, that was just jumping. All right, we were hanging, uh, steel. There's a steel beam still on the hook that I, the Franklin crane operator, couldn't lower after the building collapsed. The crane had nothing to do with this. So shut the fuck up after after about shit you know nothing about. So I give a, you know, I'm glad he stayed this. I'm glad Blake did this. So don't all that, you never poison the waters totally. But this is not intended for you guys to dox either one of them. Do not go riding them. If they're not coming forward, and they, they can probably see my videos. They can come forward if they want. If they're not coming forward, do not contact them. You guys told me, contact some of the victims. No. No. If they're not coming forward, it's not my thing to go harass these people. No. They, when they're ready to come forward, they'll come forward. If they're not ready to come forward, they're not psychologically ready to come forward. They're worried or whatever. People that have come forward, they've come forward writing me, texting me. Contact me in the back. Want to stay anonymous. I've been sharing that data with you. If Mike wants to come forward, 100%. I will protect him where you we won't be to triangulate back to Mike. I will also protect Mike that I will go to jail rather than tell who my source is. I mean, they could probably try to subpoena my phone and all that. But I already beheaded that. It's the moment they try to, you know, I'm already headed of that. It's already, you know, nixed out. We, you know, immediately change over. I, I know how to protect Mike. And I know how to protect uh, anybody writing me because if you're trying to get to me, to my source, you're not going to get it. You're not going to get it. And my app automatically, you know, I use a private app that is in, is uh, is um, deletes the messages. So it doesn't even store on my phone. There's no storage on my phone. It deletes. It's, a, it's an encrypted app. 
So you're protected. When you contact me, it's protected. There's nothing, you know, you can subpoena my phone, you can you can try to get to it. But my my uh text messages are are, are not on the internet. Like they're not they're not there. But you know, you'd have to be the NSA to get mine, in other words. Um Mike Marino again. The crane cable did not break. You chowderheads, we were hanging steel. There's a steel beam still on the hook that I, the Franklin Crane, this is a declaration. For the attorneys that watch my channel, this is a declaration if you can prove this is Mike's, Mike Marino, and this is the, uh, this is there. there this, this is, a, fuck, this is, you know, this is declaration. Typed, face, apparent, fa apparent face, name, um, no, no impersonations before. That, that's his uh, affidavit. Okay. So, terminating video. I really thank you guys for getting me this stuff. I'm sorry for the format. Again, I have to protect the people giving me my sources. Unless they tell me, look, no, you can help me. You're, they're protected. Bye.